What do you think is meant by the term spiritual journey? What does it bring to your mind? Pause here, Marta, and discuss your initial thoughts. Spiritual journeys may explore the profound impact of individual experiences or depict universal truths such as life and death, order and chaos. Tracy Emmons' Exploration of the Soul is an insightful exploration of the journey of life and the profound effects of her experiences growing up. It's comprised of 32 framed sheets of blue A4 notepaper on which Emin has written a poetic text recounting significant moments from her life from birth up to the age of 13. It begins with the celebration of the endless cycle of life represented by nature, the sea, the stars, the sun, the earth's rotation, and human lovemaking as an introduction to the passionate encounter in which the artist imagines her and her twin brother Paul's conception. The following page describes birth. The moment of my birth into this world, I somehow felt a, mis a mistake had been made. I couldn't scream or cry or even argue my case. I just lay there motionless, just wishing I could go back, back to where I had came. She recounts their adventures growing up at the giant Hotel International, where they had moved at the age of six as a result of her parents' unorthodox relationship, a love affair between an English woman and a Turkish Cypriot property developer, both married to other people. The pregnancy resulting in Emin and her brother was an accident and was nearly aborted. In Emin's text, the end of the Hotel International ideal and her parents' relationship leads to ex sexual experimentation between the children and disturbing attentions from her mother's new lover, signalling the beginnings of anxiety and despair. As they grow up, the twins gradually grow apart, the separation an inevitable source of pain. Ridic ridicule and rejection from other children, sexual exploitation by a big brown hairy man, and the loss of her front teeth after being headbutted by her twin Paul precede the traumatic culmination event of the text. The artist's rape at the age of 13 had a devastating emotional effect. For me, my childhood was over. I had become conscious of my own physicality, aware of my single presence. I had become open to the ugly truths of this world. And at the age of 13, I had realized there was a danger in beauty and innocence. I could not have both. This would be something I would battle with for the rest of my life. Layers of experience and memories, as well as a surface filled with writing, are both characteristic of palimpsests. What other form could a work such as this take as a palimpsest? Pause here and brainstorm your ideas. Spiritual journeys may explore the profound impact of individual experiences on the soul or depict universal truths such as life and death, order and chaos. In Nantes Triptych, Bill Viola displays three different videos in an installation that focuses on life and death. The left panel shows an image of a young woman in the process of giving birth. The right panel shows an image of an old woman in the process of dying. Both are documentations of actual events. The central panel shows a naked man weightlessly floating underwater. The three passages are accompanied by a soundtrack of crying, water movement and breathing in a 30 minute loop. In what ways does this work represent a spiritual journey? Do you think this work also portrays other types of journeys? Pause the video here and discuss what you think of this work in the context of a spiritual journey. In these videos, Viola is exploring both his personal subjective experiences as well as deeper universal truths. The birth video was inspired by the birth of his first son. It's an intimate look into the beauty of birth and life. The woman on the right is Viola's mother. He filmed her on her deathbed in her final moments of life. 
In a documentary titled The Eye of the Heart, Bill Viola talks about his mother's death and his decision to film this deep and intimate experience. He says that filming his mother in the process of dying was emotionally the hardest experience he's had to deal with. Viola has described these as the great universal experiences. They happen to be the most private and personal experiences, and the camera is the embodiment of the invasion of privacy, which is where the tension comes in. Viola has taken the form of the triptych, traditionally used in Western art for religious paintings, to represent through the medium of video his own contemporary form of spiritual iconography. For him, birth and death, the markers which delineate our lifespan, are mysteries in the truest sense of the word, not meant to be solved, but experienced and inhabited. The videos embody emotions that are simply beyond words. Initially, these three panels are viewed as embodying radically different emotions, and this causes the viewer to regard them as separate frames. The repetition of the soundtrack helps to synchronize the different sounds of the cries of birth with the last breaths of life. This modulates the differences until we no longer hear them separately and we begin to unify the experiences. The linear framework of birth, life and death is transcended and the three become entwined in the cycle of existence where death is not viewed as a state that occurs at the end of life but instead is inherent within its very condition. The beauty and fragility of life and death, the journey of life, is also explored by Jess Landau in her series Growth. The egg represents the cycle of physical life, both in its fragility and as a symbol for the potential of new life. Landau states the beginning and the end of our collective experiences are universal and this fact keeps us connected to one another indefinitely. Likewise, our unique experiences define who we are in life separately as individuals. There is an overwhelming desire to be independent in our culture, while interpersonal connection and a sense of belonging is necessary for survival. This paradox is fascinating and is the driving force behind this body of work. As our memories change and our identities evolve, growth occurs. Life is fragile and temporary, and it should be cradled in the palms of our hands, which is the process that I engaged with as I delicately created each of these works manually with my hands. Destruction is difficult, wrote Antonio Gramsci in his prison cell in 1932. Indeed, it is as difficult as creation. In his work In Between, Thomas Hirschhorn confronts the universal ideas of creation and destruction that are at the very heart of any spiritual journey. A ruin is a form, and a ruin is something which is in a, actually in a state in between, because it was something else and it will perhaps um, getting something else. The aesthetic of In Between borrows from pictures of destruction, destruction by violence, by war, by accident, by nature, structural failures, corruption, fatality. Reflecting on the Gramsci quote, Hirschhorn said, I see this as the in-between status of a journey or trajectory. To me, the quote is not about separating or opposing creation and destruction, but about the difficulty of positioning oneself in the midst of a moving world. The challenge of confronting the world's reality stands between creation and destruction. In between is the affirmation of a precarious dimension, the dimension of the non-guaranteed. Destruction and erosion are fundamental to palimpsests. In what other ways is this work conceptually linked to palimpsest? If it was a two-dimensional palimpsest work, how do you think it could be rendered? Pause here and brainstorm your ideas.